eating healthy is more than just trying to lose weight, trying to get in shape. But I would eat them at the, I would eat like junk food at the wrong time. Just the, just the wrong time. Like start up my morning at work eating a donut and then I would feel tired. Man, that first two hours of work is like, that's really when I zoom. That's when I get stuff done. And so for me, I've kind of, I've changed up my eating habits just because of the way that it affects my day. I've realized that waking up, having egg whites, oatmeal, I have oatmeal with honey and uh, slivered almonds. I think that's how you say it, chopped almonds. Uh, sometimes avocado toast and uh, typically a protein shake. So I'm not trying to pitch very expensive foods. Actually, all of these things can be purchased at Lidl or Aldi or any cheap grocery store. You can buy all these ingredients. And I encourage you to do it because if you eat breakfast to start the day out, you're in control of what you're eating you're probably more likely to be in control of the things you're gonna eat later in the day. So if, you're, if you start getting up earlier and you start making yourself breakfast, then you're gonna be eating healthier in the morning. Hopefully that will encourage you to start to develop the habits to eat a healthier lunch. Then maybe you'll make your own lunches. And in the end, you end up saving so much money. I'll be honest with you. I spend about $35 a week on groceries. About 35, maybe $40 a week on groceries. Now eating out, I know some people are probably equating, oh, if I have lunch, just, you know, five days a week, that's like 50 bucks. What about breakfast? What about dinner? What's happening at those times? So save money by going to the grocery store and buying some things to prepare for yourself. So here are some really practical things that you can do at home. What I would highly recommend is taking a tray, placing some vegetables on it, seasoning them with salt and pepper and uh, the two proteins I typically go for are chicken and shrimp. Those are really good foods to kind of mix in. I haven't really gotten tired of those. Um, go ahead and put those in a tray and bake that. You can make a lot of food in a really short period of time. You put it in the oven about 475 and you cook it for maybe an hour and you have your whole entire week's worth of lunches prepared for you ahead of time. So I would highly recommend that if you are considering eating healthy, you know, start out by just making a nice breakfast. It doesn't even have to be egg whites. It could just be fried eggs, something real, something that's not a Chick-fil-A sandwich, something that's not bought at a fast food restaurant when you're in a hurry. Because if you're always in a hurry, who's watching out for you? Do you think McDonald's or Chick-fil-A actually care about you? Do you think they, do you think they, they care how long you live? They really only care about how long you're going to be a customer of theirs. And so they're just trying to figure out how cheap do they have to make the food for you to buy it? And they know that you're gonna buy it because they're all over the place. So I guess pay yourself by saving money and also reward yourself by eating healthy and living a longer life and not feeling so distracted when you're at work because the food that you're eating is making you into a different person than who you can actually be. Um, yeah, so that's my advice for today. And the real practical advice in this is it's very easy to go to a grocery store and start doing it for just one meal. So my method is always incrementally try and increase how much you're doing something. Because for me, I'm not a person who can really go cold turkey on anything. It takes little steps, little steps of progress towards getting to a bigger goal. So maybe you just make breakfast if you're really bad like I was. I The thing that saved me is I started using meal preps. So I had, I had a meal prep service that I started paying for because I was so bad at cooking. And then I started to realize, hey, wait, I can actually, I can make these things 
And it wasn't until my girlfriend really started getting into cooking that we started making meal preps ourselves. So now we make our own food. But um, if a meal prep service is the thing that will save you, go ahead and try that. I would definitely recommend you know trying something that makes it easier. Try and make it easier for you to transition into eating healthier. And when you do it, try and take a you know a, mu- a minute to realize how you feel in a day compared to eating you know, sugar-rich foods, stuff that's really not working for you. Because as much as I would love to have a bag of potato chips or some Cheetos, I, the thing is, I so understand how much of a headache that's gonna give me later, how lethargic it's gonna make me, how tired it's gonna make me, how it's gonna affect me, and I just, I just don't want any of that. I just really don't. I got a lot going on, and I'd rather not have that. I'd rather have something that's clean, that, you know, is gonna taste good, but not make me super tired. And so a lot of times I gotta go and procure that myself. I gotta go, I have to bring fruit, right? Like, not a lot of offices have fruit in like their snack room. So you have to start doing that yourself. Um, but hopefully you find this video informative and maybe you've learned something because I, I'll be honest with you, I, used, I just see like donuts and stuff. I worked out and I was like, oh, it's not a big deal. And I've just noticed a huge difference in my attitude and uh, how I feel throughout the day. So if you like this video and you like these little tips of advice, I put out a video Monday through Friday. Um, so like and subscribe and you'll see more videos. Thank you for watching.